our game of the week, the Jug Bowl, the Lynchburg City Championship, and a key collision of undefeated teams in the Seminole District. Alyssa Ray has the story from City Stadium. EC Glass versus Heritage, our game of the week. It's called the Jug Bowl, the annual meeting between Heritage and EC Glass, one that's been more favorable to the Pioneers in years past. The Hilltoppers looking for their first victory in this matchup since 2010. The Jug returns to Lynchburg City Stadium, unsure if it will have a new home after tonight. Heritage attacks first, second quarter. Carrington Anderson scrambling. He decides to keep it himself and goes sideline 25 yards for the score and a 6 0 lead. With 38 seconds left in the half, Glass's Matthew McCallum goes deep downfield to Trey Alexander, and the juice is loose. He makes the catch in stride for a 43 yard touchdown. Hilltoppers up 7 6 at halftime. Hilltoppers top that TD with another. Ty Foster rumbles in from seven yards out to give Glass a 14-6 lead. The Pioneers push back. Elijah Davis from short to cut the lead to two. Two-point conversion failed. Glass leading 14-12. And with time winding down in regulation, Heritage powers downfield into the red zone. But Juice gets an interception to seal the 14-12 victory. First win over Heritage since 2010. What does that say about this team? And how big is this for the community and the fans? Hey, I dedicate this dedicate this to, to all the Midtown folks in EC Glass that have been waiting so long. Hey, Ward, all the support Ray. that we've Happy gotten. Birthday. All the all the Enjoy. old school fans from way back that have you know wanted this for the longest time. Coach Woody also went on to thank the non-believers and the naysayers for giving his team the motivation to get better. The Hilltoppers now move to 4-0 after this major Seminole District W. In Lynchburg, Alyssa Ray, WSLS 10 Sports.